now so colorless aerated drinks colorless aerated drinks you take it as a ph value is approximately 4 carrot juice ph value is approximately 6 and coffee 5 tomato juice 4.1 to 4.3 next tap water basically it will be maybe acidic or maybe basic so that is what it will be varies from 6 to 8.5 and one mole of NaOH. See, one mole of NaOH means is NaOH is a what? 14. The pH base. So, base. Acida, base. 13 to 4. Same base. One mole of HCl. It's a zero pH value. So, what is that? All of you. pH value is zero. one. Okay. So, one mole of HCl, pH value is zero. Okay. That is what you have to remember. So now, anybody having any doubt in this, ask me. Now, substances. Here you write it fastly. What is this? Acida, basa, that you write it fast. Everybody. I'll have to make it. Okay, so now, what is that? Tell me first, all of you. So, ma, this M means mole, ma. Remember, class 9th, we'll study mole. Do you remember, all of you? One mole, <laughs> yeah. One mole of HCl means in the sense of, we all know small concept. Mole N is equals to, what is the answer? Given mass divided by, given molecular. mass divided by, what is that? Molecular mass. Mole. Molar. Not molecular mass, molar mass. Understand, Harizeras? That is what. So, the given number of moles is how many moles? Now, one. So, one is equals to, let me take how much mass is there. So, given mass is M. Molar mass of HCl. Everybody can tell me what is the molar mass of HCl? HCl molar mass is 1 into 1 plus here 1 into 35.5. So, which is equals 36. to 36.5. 35.5, which is equal to how much? Ra? 36.5 gram, gram per mole. So now it will come here. So 1 into 36.5 gram per mole and here 1 mole. So mole mole will get cancelled. So means in the sense of 1 mole of HCl means how many grams? Everybody? 36.5 grams of what? Hydrochloric acid. That is the concern. That is the meaning of one mole of HCl. Is it okay, guys? So, one mole of HCl means it contains what? 36.5 grams of what? HCl. HCl in solution. Is it okay, guys? All of you? Same way for one mole of NaOH means. You can find it. So, what is the one mole of NaOH? All of you? It is also contains approximately 40 grams. How, sir? So, N is equals to M by capital M. That is the importance of studying ninth class. I know so many came without studying. So, that's fine. So, one mole of. So, given moles, N into given molar mass is equals to given mass. So, mole is one. Molar mass, tell me. Sodium, how much ra? 23 plus 16 plus 1. So, 23 plus 17, how much? All of you, which is equals to 40. So, 40. 40. So, what is the mass? All of you, 40 grams in it. That 40 is it. grams. So, 40 grams of dissolved how many wall? All of you remember, this is also very important. Here is 1000 ml of water. How many water? 1000 ml of water. of water. Means in the sense of how many liters? One, one liter. Okay. 36.5 grams of HCl in uh, in how many solution? How many uh, how many liter? Everybody? One liter of water. One liter. Okay. Means what is the total solution? One liter solution. Okay. That is what. So 36.5 grams of HCl in one liter of water. That is what you have to remember. Is it okay, guys? All of you? And even any of also. So that is what. So what is the nature? Write it, everyone. What is the nature? All of you? You should write it. Acidic, acidic, various, bases, everything right. So, first one. 
7.4 actually <laughs> saliva before meal saliva before meal varies from 6.8 to 6.8 to 7.4 so slightly acidic slightly acidic to what acidic to Maybe. basic Five, after meal after meal completely acid so that is why what acidic, acidic. next 2.5 acidic, acidic. 4 point, 4 point also acidic. Acid also acidic. Acid also acidic. Acid. 4.1 to 4.3. This is 4.3. All of you. So what is that? Acidic. Acidic. 6 to 8.5. Again what? Where is? Acidic. acidic to acidic to base. 14. 14. Basic. 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 Okay. Zero. Zero. Acidic. Okay. Next. So they are asking pH color. So this pH color only based upon universal indicator. So this is the pH of pH of some common substances shown and shown uh, on a pH paper. Colors are only a rough guide. Colors are only what they are saying. Everybody, rough guide. Okay. So let us see that. So, but this is not the universal indicator. Understand? The colors of universal indicator is different. Is it okay, guys? Everybody? Colors of universal yes. indicator is different. This is different. Is it okay, all of you? Understand, Ra? That is what. Now, all of you observe very carefully. Now, universal indicator, of course, we will study later. Now, you tell me, based upon this colors what they have given now we have to fill the color here ph paper color first 1 ml of hcl can you tell me what is the color all of you what is the color here you can check yes red. what is the color all of you red. okay so write red. it a different color pen so at least it will be good so red color one mole of nh last what is this Dark blue. <laughs> Next, tap water 6 to 8.5 varies. So 6 to 8.5. 6 to 8.5. What is the color? Green. Green. Okay. Next. Next. Tomato juice. Tomato juice 4 to 4.1. 4. 4. 4. 4. Four. Tomato Yellow. juice. Yellow. Yellow. Coffee. Coffee, what is the pH value? 4.1. Tomato juice, uh, coffee also 5. What is the 5? Yellow. Yellow. Approximately rough guide it is. Carrot juice, 6. 6 means what? Green. Like yellow green. Next, aerated drinks. Colorless aerated drinks. Colorless aerated drinks. Actually, some places you can see 4 or some places they will say around 6. So whatever it is you can take. So 4 to 6 almost it is what? Yellow. Okay guys. What you have to remember. Next lemon juice. Lemon juice 2.5. Lemon. 2.5. Orange. 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 Next. Saliva after meal. Saliva after meal, it is 5.8. 5.8 means here, approximately again here. Yes. What is that? Yellow. Yellow. Green. Next, saliva before meal. What is that? 6.8 to 7.4. 7.4. 7 green. 7 yes, please. Blue green. Green in color. So that is what you have to remember. So please note it, everything. Understand, Ra, everyone? Sanjay, Teeswini, Pugal, everything you yes, have. Sir. That is what. Now, how many of you understand what do you mean by one mole? M means mole. Is it okay, guys? Actually, one M, M means one mole of one mole of NaCl. Clear, guys, everybody? Understand, Ra? Yes. Yes, sir. Please write it. Yes, sir. Make it quick. C 
See, all of you always remember, now only not any class you go. 1M means in the sense of the like one mole of a substance per one liter of solution. Okay. 1M means one mole of a substance per how many liters? Per? One liters. Yeah. Per liter of solution. So that is what 2 is to called as 1M. So anybody having any doubt, you can ask me. So this is what we can say. And here they are saying the strong acids and weak bases. The strength of acids and bases depends on the what? Number of, we all know. H plus plus H plus OH minus I OH minus. So if you take hydrochloric acid and acidic acid of the same concentration, so who is more stronger? Everybody. Say one molar. <laughs> this produces different amounts of hydrogen ions. So acids that give rise to more H plus ions are said to be strong acids and acids that give less H plus ions are said to be weak acids. So can you now say what weak and what strong bases are? What is weak and strong bases are? Of course, weak bases means what? Which will produce us less OH minus, OH minus, minus number of strong bases means which will produce more more number of OH, number of minus. OH minus. Now, who is strong acid? HCl or acidic acid? Strong acid. Is strong acid because it will produce more H plus ions. Next, acidic acid. What is the formula of acidic acid? CH3COOH. It will produce less H plus ions. That is what you have to remember. Any doubt? Anybody can ask. Clear, guys? No, sir. Yes, sir. No. So, this is what it is. Now we are having a five minutes time. So before going to study, importance of pH in everyday life, forgot about it. This is very, very important. Of course, that is why we will study in our uh, tomorrow's class. Now we are going to study the main indicator, which is uh, a common indicator throughout the world, which is used to prefer. That is what? Universal indicator. Universal indicator. So please write it. Universal indicator. Omar, can you hear me? Over, Omar chapter close. Okay, universal indicator. Write it. All of you write. Universal indicator. The common indicators cannot tell us the... The common indicators cannot tell us the... The common indicators cannot tell us the relative strength of acids or bases. Relative strength means what do you mean by relative strength? Any one of you can explain. What do you mean by relative strength? Anyone? Strength of H plus Yeah, that is what either C. All the common indicators, for example, I will give you Sulfuric acid and I will give you acidic acid. You don't know what is what. Now, I want to know both beakers are AB or both are what? Both are acids. Purima, Ella me clear. Now, I will yes, give you the sir. litmus paper. I will give you the litmus paper. I know both are what? Both are acid. I have given which litmus. I have given which litmus? Blue litmus. So, okay. it will converting into what? Both the test tubes it will be red in color. Okay. So, now if you notice it, I want to know which is strong acid, which is weak acid. Is it possible to find with the help of litmus? Anybody? No, sir. Is it possible to find with the help of litmus? Yes? No, sir. No. So, that is the reason we need a special indicator which is also describes about relative strength. So, that is the relative strength. What do you mean by relative strength? It will describe how strong or how weak the acid or base. That is what we are preferring a new indicator, which is called as, everybody, universal indicator. Okay? So that is what you have to remember it. Uh, Algin, Algin, you are only disturbance speakers. So please uh, verify it or change the speakers. Okay? So now, 
A and B, if you notice it, both are acids. So with the normal indicators, we cannot define either it is a strong acid or a weak acid. Is it right or wrong, guys? If I give you two test tubes of bases, both are base. Both are bases. Is it possible to find which is a strong base or which is a weak base? Everybody? All of you? No, sir. No. With the normal indicators, we cannot find which is a strong, which is weak, which is strong, which is weak. So that is why we need a special indicator that to find what? To, to find what is that? Relative strength Relative. means how strong or how weak the given substance is. Relative strength of acid or base. So that is the advantage of universal indicator. Universal indicator, two purpose. One is first. What is our first purpose? Identify either the given substance is a what? Either the given substance is acid or base. That yes. is the first thing. Second thing. What is the second thing? Mithakshri, we can identify how strong it is. Understand? Either it is a strong or weak. Either acid or what is that? Strong acid or st weak acid. Or strong base or weak base. Elame clear? Understand? That is why we prefer what? Everybody. We prefer the <laughs> universal indicator. Write it. Definition. Universal indicator is a mixture of universal indicator is a mixture of many different indicators. Universal indicator is a mixture of many different indicators many different indicators are dice dice means what what do you mean by dice everybody colors dice which gives different colors at different ph values once again i'm repeating universal indicator is a mixture of many different indicators are dice which gives different colors at which gives different colors at which gives different colors at different pH values of the different pH values of the different pH values of the entire pH scale entire pH scale so this color will shows based upon the what what concentration anybody based upon the what concentration ion H, H plus ion concentration so that is why so we will say universal indicator shows different colors at different concentration of what different concentration of all of you H plus ion concentration so different color at different different H plus ion concentration. So that is what the basic color of basic color of universal indicator. Universal indicator. They are also like a paper strips. Understanding? Paper strips which is present in yellow color. What is the basic color of universal indicator everybody? Yes, please. Hello, universal. Not in base. Not in base sama. Generally. General. Generally, the universal indicator is available in what color? Everybody. Yellow color. Hello, Based upon the H plus ion concentration, it will show different colors. And with that, we can identify what is the, either it is a acid or base, first thing. First, we can identify either acid or base. And second thing, what we can identify? Everybody. We can identify whether it is a... Yes, please. What we strong can identify? Acid or... Strong acid or weak acid or strong base or weak base. Clear? All of you? Understood or not? So let us see that. So universal indicator. So basically, generally, what is the universal indicator color? Everybody. Hello. Mm -hmm. It is, it is present in what color? Universal indicator. Yellow in color. Yellow in color. That is what you have to remember. Okay, guys. Everybody clear? 
I love you. Yes, sir. Now, this is the pH uh, universal indicator scale. Universal indicator varies from not 0 to 14. It will varies from where to where? Everybody. 1 to 14. It varies from 1 to 14. 1 to 14. Understand? 1 to 14. That is why. So, let us see. If you get, suppose, if I dip the, a solution has turned this universal indicator paper into strong red color. Dark red means what is the pH value? Everybody. Once. One. So means it is a strong acid, weak acid. Strong acid. acid. Strong acid. Learn it. Dark red. Second one is red. Third one is orange red. Colors learn. Orange red. You should know the colors. Without color, you cannot answer. Fourth one is what? Orange. Orange. Fifth one is orange yellow. They will ask you in exam colors only. Orange yellow. Based upon the color, you should find the what is the substance. Understanding either a strong or weak. Is it okay, guys? Next, sixth one. Greenish yellow. Greenish yellow. Seventh one. What is the seventh one? Everybody. Green. Green. Eighth one. Greenish blue. Greenish blue. Ninth one. What is the ninth one? Blue. Okay. Tenth one. Navy blue. And eleventh one. All of you. Purple. Okay. Twelfth one. Dark purple. And 13th one. What is the 13th one, everybody? Colors of the Teriyada. Violet. Violet. 13th one. Dark. Dark. Okay. Dark violet. violet. That is what. Write it fast, all of you. Till here, you should know it. Okay. Name. Another names. So, suppose some places they will ask you another names. Dark red. Red. Next one. Orange red. Next orange. Next one. Orange yellow. Orange or yellow. You can say simply yellow. Okay. Next. Yellowish green or greenish yellow. Greenish yellow or yellowish green. Both are same. Again, don't get confused. Yellowish green. Next one. Next seventh one is what? All of you. Green. Next one is greenish blue. Next one is blue. Next one is purple. The purple color only also we can call it as bluish purple. Both are same. Next. Eleventh one is very important. What is the eleventh one? Sorry. Here I have written. Sorry, Ra. This is blue. Here it is. Strong. Confusion. Don't make confusion. This is purple, correct only, purple, purple only. So here, navy blue, I made it a confusion here. Have you checked it, everybody? This is 10 amma. And this is for what? This is for 11, okay? So yeah. navy blue also we can call it as, what do you to call? Blueish blue purple. Blueish purple. Purple. And 11th one is what? 11th is purple. Purple. Okay. Next, twelfth one is dark purple. Dark, dark purple. And thirteenth one is violet. And fourteenth one is what? Dark, dark, violet. dark violet. Dark violet. Okay. So till here, you have to read every color you should know. Anyone having anything doubt, you can. So each and every one of you, you all need to learn these colors. Based upon these colors, they will ask you in exam so many questions. Okay. So then mostly tomorrow, we will study what is the importance of pH in our daily life. And then after, we'll go to the third one. That is the uh, third part of the chapter. Most important one that is only used to call it as salts. So salts and production of salts, 100% guarantee question in our uh, board exam. That is the very, very serious concept and very, very most important concept also. So now in our today's class, all of you in our textbook, if you notice it till page number 26, you have to read each and everything and you have to report me without fail. And yesterday, hardly 10 members also not even reported me what the work they have done. I don't know. Including Mr. Omar, nobody has uh, reported. Only very few people. 
I want to know what is the progress and everything, either simply sitting or enjoying. Okay. So with this, I will stop and we'll continue tomorrow's class. Thank you, everybody. Till page number 26, line to line, word to word, compare our notebook and verify it. I'll send this both the both the images in our group, draw it in our classwork, perfectly write it, and you have written the pH values of one table or column now. SRNO activity 2.11. Learn that pH values. Okay. So thank you everybody. We'll meet in tomorrow's class.